talk about Donald Trump because a uh, fascinating week for him, culminating last night in yet another um, very dramatic sort of motorcade. It's now becoming a rehearsed kind of deal, isn't it? it you know, it, he comes out of his house in New Jersey, motorcade to the airport, gets on uh, Trump, his Force, massive private Trump jet. Force One. It's the biggest <laughs> private jet anybody's ever seen. It's not really a private jet, it's like a jumbo, private yeah. jumbo. You know, lands down in Georgia, another motorcade to... Uh, and whatever, the size of these motorcades and the police... Yeah. I mean, it's just remarkable. You'd think it was the president. I mean, if I was Joe Biden, I'd be going... Um, sorry, why is he allowed to do that? It is extraordinary. I mean, his motorcade's almost longer than the president's. It's just I mean, nuts. He did this big interview with Tucker Carlson this week while he didn't go to the uh, the Fox-sponsored um, vice presidential kind of, I suppose you might call it, um, dem a demonstration. That was more of a vice presidential so, debate, so, wasn't uh, it, rather than an actual presidential debate? Absolutely right. So I have now watched the whole of this three-quarter mm. hour uh, interview yeah. by Tucker Carlson, yeah. uh, which you can watch on uh, on X and probably some other channels, yeah. Uh, X obviously being Which has Twitter. got an incredible number of a millions. Huge of millions, yeah. uh, hundreds of millions of yeah. people watched it. So that's between Tucker Carlson mm. and Donald Trump. Yeah. And I have to say, it is well worth watching, listening to. It's, it's just extraordinary. Whatever you think yeah. of Donald Trump, whether you like him or don't like him, you've just got to listen to that to understand mm. where this is at. Yeah. And I think I may have to admit that I may not have been completely correct previously. Oh. Do you think because, you might have been wrong? Well, uh, let me say I was not. I may not have been correct because uh, <laughs> I, I did. I think I was caught saying that he would, that Donald Trump would not be on yes, the Republican I remember that. Uh, ballot paper, yeah. and it's quite clear to me now that actually he will be. Yes. Well, he might and, not be on the ballot paper um, uh, when they have the pri primaries for the for the Republicans because they might not bother having one. Well, they might not bother having. There's one. no but, point. But he, I think he will now be on the. Uh, the ballot paper I in think November there's no 20th. Question. There's no question. Yeah. And when you see that... I'll accept uh, your apology. And, uh, well, look, what, what I will say there... I will give you right. I will, <laughs> even, like you, Mike. Uh, what I will say, though, here is the thing. What is going on? I think that there has been some understanding or deal done between Donald Trump mm. and Vivek Ramaswamy, yes. who was one of the eight in the uh, the pres in, in the sort of the primary debate. Yeah, right. Because, and I think the deal is that uh, Vivek will be his vice president, his his running mate, because Vivek is going out there with some policies that are are, are sort of you know that they're they're very strong, robust policies. Yes. Uh, that in some cases are actually, you know, slightly more uh, sort of harder and he's than, another than outsider, you expect isn't Trump to say. Because he's, he's another he's, outsider. He's a businessman, right? And that's right, he's a businessman, he's been very successful, he's only 38, yeah. but he is saying he wants to bring in the military to help secure their border yeah. uh, with Mexico, which is harder than Trump's previously said. Yeah. Uh, he's also said, for example, with Ukraine, that actually uh, they need to look at starting to reduce the amount of yeah. aid they give Ukraine. Yeah. He's talking about actually... Which is po very popular in which America. Is, uh, but, but actually very unpopular with the establishment. Mm. He's saying they need to talk about land and Crimea. So, you know, this is, this mm. is very different to what everybody else right. in, in the sort of consensus politics in America is talking about. And then on climate change, uh, again, he's got a very different view. He actually said in the primary debate uh, that he said, uh, he, he actually said this, the way that climate change is being conducted is a hoax. Yeah. And that it's he a... He said the agenda is a hoax. He said the agenda is a hoax and that uh, it is, it is a, a very damaging wet blanket on yeah. the American economy. Yeah. And so, you know, this is, this is very, very different mm. to what anybody else is saying. Yeah. And I think that is giving sort of... It's giving it leeway for Donald Trump. Yeah. And that, that's, and that's where about, I think this is going. And the thing about the two-horse race is if it does come down to Trump-Biden again, as many commentators have said, and they're not necessarily pro-Trump commentators, you know, things can happen. You know, Joe Biden, Trump says in that interview, uh, he doesn't think uh, Biden will make it to the gate, uh, meaning he doesn't think he'll actually be healthy enough to run for president, which is possible. Uh, his health could deteriorate rapidly uh, as, as of the, the, the start of the campaign. I mean, we know the last campaign, he didn't really go anywhere because it was under the sort of COVID rules. He, he ran his campaign from his, his basement. In his basement, right. Well, if, and, if you listen to Trump's right. interview, I mean, he basically says... Yeah, Biden is struggling to walk at the mm. moment. I mean, the the grass of the uh, the grass of the White House is about two inches long, yeah. and and Biden's sort of shuffling along it as right. though he's sort of shuffling to his bed. Well, I mean, he's, he's just he's shuffling to make sure he doesn't fall down flat on his face, which we've also seen him do. I mean, we've got uh, the world according to Mike Graham every night on a Friday, uh, and we do Biden's balls up, which 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 starts with him falling over at that event that he was at in the uh, with the Navy. You know, he's, it, the point is is that in the end. 
Donald Trump has got at least a 50-50 chance of winning the White House if he is the, is, is the nominee. And he's going to be the nominee, so he's now at least 50-50 with Biden. I, I think that's correct. And uh, the other thing I said was that Biden wouldn't be on the ballot paper. I still hold by that. I don't think he will make the ballot no. paper. I think uh, events will will. Well, do you think it'll transpire. be Newsom? It could well be Newsom. Trump talks a lot about that. If you look at Newsom's track record. I mean, California is in a disastrous state, yeah. economically, socially, culturally. So, uh, you know, Trump, I think, will we'll, we'll revel uh, mm. if it... Uh, well, he's it's really revelling in all of this um, um, attention. Every single, um, you know, indictment that, that falls upon him makes him stronger. He's like, I described him, um, I think, last week as almost like some kind of superhero figure, you know, one of those Marvel uh, adventures where, you know, instead of being a kryptonite to Superman, it's a sort of the opposite. You know, as soon as he touches some, some indictment, he becomes more powerful. Uh, he does. And, of course, where he's so strong and powerful, actually, is in foreign policy yeah. and he talks in this interview at length about uh, how he was a strong leader uh, against the likes of Kim Jong-un uh, against President Xi of China and against Putin and, and, against Putin. and yeah. he said that those people respected him yeah. and they don't respect Biden and Biden's weakness and the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan and so on and so mm. on and, and the list is a long one so and I've he, detected I would say in the last week in terms of American public opinion definite shift because it is looking ridiculous. The idea that, you know, a former president of the United States of America is now being prosecuted under a law which was enacted by Rudolph Giuliani when he was a Southern District Court yes. District Attorney in New York against the Mafia, you know, and they're alleging that basically Trump's White House was run like an organised crime syndicate. I mean, it's just ludicrous and uh, well, ridiculous. And, and, and so as this sort of charade goes on every week where he flies to another, yeah. <laughs> you know, another court hearing... Right. Uh, and you think, oh, here we go again, here we go again. Mm. And eventually people say, this is ridiculous, yeah. this is absurd. And, and, it's so very, and, it's, and it looks terrible for America. It looks terrible for America, the, the division, and where does this all end up? And, and again, in that interview, Trump talks about that. Mm. And he said, he said he is actually genuinely now worried about the, where this goes, the anger uh, uh, alongside the passion. And it's, you know, there's some, America's got some serious challenges yeah. and... Uh, I think the Democrats have got to think yeah. long and hard and about like what they do And like all popular um, winners, he can say, well, is it better now than it was when I was in president? And they all have to say, well, no, it isn't. And, you know, and it's the same as, as I guess the Labour Party will say about Rishi Sunak. You know, are you better off now than you were ten years ago? Probably not. Well, uh, definitely not. I mean, we, we've got our own challenges. And, yeah. and the, the reality is, uh, in any walk of... You know, people don't feel um, better off than they did 13 years ago. Right. It's not safer on the streets. Mm. It's a lot harder to get a GP, mm. and as we've talked about this morning, our borders are now completely open. In fact, we, we basically, they are porous to the point where there is no border in the United yeah. Kingdom. It's, it's, it's open, it's gone, and, and the government doesn't seem to care. No, incredible. Richard Tice, thank you very much indeed.